Hello, I want to show you something very simple today which comes very handy when you are dealing with creating just a problem. Um, instead of trying to go randomly and try to figure out whether a problem that you're creating um, is feasible or has any feasible solution and how its uh, final outcome looks we can just simply use uh, an excel data sheet and uh, let the excel do the calculation and we will come up with a problem which is feasible and uh, hopefully a nice solution as well so let us consider this case in this case i want to create a minimization lp with eight variables and five constraints I want two of them to be greater than or equal sign, the other three to be less than or equal sign. So we're talking about eight variables, five constraints. Let's see how we can use uh, Excel uh, to accomplish that. I'm going to type just some identifications in here. I will create a column for each one of the variables. The first thing that I will do is to create a feasible point, a feasible solution for each one of them. Just entering numbers. So I have created some numbers. Then I'm going to introduce the coefficients of the problem. So let's just put some numbers. Now let's find what the result of this will be if I multiply each row of these problem by my solution that I have set up for myself. So when I multiply these values by those, this is what I am getting, 8. Now, before dragging this value down, I need to make sure that these numbers remain fixed. Because as I drag this value down, see what happens. I drag just one down, and the value is 0. And the value is 0. I say, how did it become zero? If I click on that, it will show me that it is multiplying these numbers by this row. So it actually moved it one row down. That's not what I want to happen. And the reason that it moved down, I did want it to move down here, but I didn't want to move down there. So I need to fix those numbers and to fix them to fix that a2 in this formula I have to put a dollar sign in front of the 2 and a dollar sign in front of b2 in front of the 2 of the b2 and a dollar sign in front of the 2 of c2 and so on of course for the first one it is still the same thing but if we drag them down these numbers are the values that are in there now if I click on 18 for example in here and look at that you would see that it is multiplying this row by the same row or if I click on next one I would get uh, basically the same result this row the new row times by that fixed row so these are the values the numbers that I get in here 9 18 23 and 13 so if I want to create a problem 
that would have two greater than sign and three less than or equal sign. Guess what? I can create that in here and I can say um, greater than or equal and it has to be greater than the, the value the actual value for that solution is 9 the actual value of this equation based on these numbers is 9 so how do I make it greater than or equal well, I'll put the smaller number in here and if I want to make that greater than or equal I know the answer is 18 so I will again put a smaller number in here let me just put 16 in here 18 is greater than or equal to 16 now I want to create less than or equal signs the actual value of this equation will be 23 Remember, the, the equation is 1x1 plus 0x2 plus 1x3 plus 2x4 plus 1x5 and so on. So if I want it to be less than or equal sign, I know the actual value is going to be 23 and I want this equation to be such that it is less than or equal a number so I have to put a number which is larger than 23 um, I can put 25 in here same for here less than or equal I can put 15 in here less than or equal I can put well, another 15 better now if I use if I use this problem with these signs and these values I know that there is at least one solution which is feasible 9 is greater than 8 18 is greater than 16 23 is less than 25 11 is less than 15 and 13 is less than 15. So let's put this problem into Lindo and see what solutions we get. So here's the problem that I put in Lindo and I created a arbitrary maximization problem, objective function, but the rest of the constraints are the same constraints that we talked about. If we solve this problem, let's see what happens. Oh, I got an optimal solution. We can easily set up this problem and based on what we get from the problem, we can go ahead and solve it. I'm sure that this problem will have a solution because I did start with a feasible solution. That's it. Try it.